Hello everyone, Lachlan Meakin here, Head of Research at Go Markets, and I'm delighted to be joined today by Justin Grossbard of Compare Forex Brokers. Thanks. Nice to be here today. Thanks for coming along. Um, Justin, I've been in this industry a long time as a trader, uh, professionally, a trader over 20 years, and what, one thing I've noticed is the massive um, improvement in trading conditions uh, in brokers over that time, and I, I really do think that review um, and comparison websites like Compare Forex Brokers has, has played a big part in that. So can you just go through the history of, of, of your website and how you got into it? Okay, Two th well we started in 2014. It was, that's a long time mm. in, in, in our game. And as you said, in those days, most brokers didn't advertise their spreads, right. you know, d their features and all this. So it was actually a lot more difficult. Now, um, companies like yourselves with gold markets very transparent, advertise most of the facts, but you try to make a spreadsheet, get every broker, combine it all yeah. to understand the strengths and weaknesses. That's what a website like ours does. The difference between Compare Forex brokers and, and our competitors is we're Australian based. Yeah. So most of them are based in Cyprus and, and or North America. We're made for Aussies. We're designed to really look at the factors that traders in Australia care about and say, which brokers, what's their sweet spots that we'll be discussing today? Great, great. So when you um, take that deep dive and look under the bonnet of the brokers, um, what are the components or the metrics you'd measure them by? Okay, so the first one's trust, regulation. Never use an unregulated broker. Look at your region, we're in Australia, ASIC, got to make sure it's regulated. That's got to be the number one. It's just a tick. Needs to be ASIC regulated. Go look at the fees, brokerage, no different from shares. Mm. The fees will slowly eat away if they're not there. Yeah. Um, the software, trading platform. So if you're not familiar, you know, some people love MetaTrader 4, some like MT5. Mm. You've got to use what you're familiar with. What are the features? What's the trading community? These yeah. are the factors I look at from there. Customer service, all seems, okay, customers. When you've got a problem, when you're on live chat, there's a big difference between the brokers. Um, I'll state there. And the range of markets. Mm. You know, what do you want to trade? Do you want to trade crypto, share CFDs, um, you know, Forex miners? You mm. know, you've got to look at what's your trading style. Does it suit the broker that you're, that you're, that you're considering? That's good, mate. And I'd love to hear with, with, uh, with your deep dive under the Go Markets bonnet, um, what you've found, what, what do you think our sweet spot is? So to me, it's liquidity. Okay, so we did give you the award. You are, of course, aware oh, of the liquidity. And, you know, it, it's, it's a very difficult one, liquidity, to, uh, unless you understand the broker inside out. But I'll loosely say it's a concept of, you know, what's the slippage? So if there's, you know, if there's more uh, providers, uh, liquidity providers that mm. they've got access to, that will reduce slippage. It's going to impact, you know, things like your spreads and your execution speed. So we kind of group those three together, and then go make markets when we group them together, came out first. Oh, that's great. And, and, and is there any other kind of core strengths you can think of that uh, has stood out for, for go markets? Well, I can only speak from my experience, and mm. the customer service was a delight. Like, the people I was speaking to obviously had trained experience. They knew what I was talking about. They weren't just trying to sell me something. Mm. And they, you know, you go into live chat, they respond almost straight away. Mm. You're not waiting five, 10, 15 minutes. If you're trading, you cannot wait 10 minutes yeah. for a response. Okay, so to me, you know, the, the customer service, I like an educational section. Yeah. I found that to be quite useful. I'm a bit more experienced than most, but yeah. I'm sure beginners will also find it to be a good introduction mm. and to get you going and on market events, these types of areas. So. Definitely, I, I thought that you, you know, that's a key selling point for Go Markets. Yeah, we're very proud of the education. We've um, won the award, I think, three years in a row with Investment Trends. So it's definitely something we concentrate on with our, our new traders and, and the level of it can even help out some more experienced traders. But that's can, can I just say something? Yeah, so please. Investment Trends, you know, if you're not familiar, we're all familiar. You know, yeah. That is actual traders who vote on this. And so every broker gets entered. Go Markets 
did win. And that's for customer service. Yes, we do our own testing, but we actually put the greatest weight in on who wins at yeah. each year. And that's yourself. So congratulations, oh, thank obviously. You. Thanks, Justin. It's your traders that voted yeah. for you, you know, but once again, I would give that the highest credibility factor when it comes to these kind of softer areas like customer service, obviously. It's not like spreads where we can easily compare. Yeah. The fact that Go Markets won, they deserve to have won it. That's great, Justin. I really appreciate the feedback, mate. Um, just check out for yourselves, everyone. There's compare, compareforexbrokers.com, great website. Um, have a, go have a visit, have a look, bit of a look in more detail about uh, Go Markets rating. But thank you so much for joining me, Justin. It was a pleasure. Thank you.